tell you what, the longer I stay here, the more magical I think this place is. Chengdu is the best city in China. That's right. I said it. I moved here after visiting several different cities in the country, and the reason I love it so much is Chengdu's got a little bit of everything. You're walking along the streets, and you find a very local alley with delicious smells and long lines of people. And after taking a bite of one of the delicacies, you think for a second, "You're Chinese yourself." Then you turn into one of Chengdu's many local parks and find yourself. Surrounded by nature, and forget a second about the sprawling crowds you were just in a moment ago. Then, upon exiting the park, you find yourself in one of the busiest commercial pedestrian streets in China, with some of the nicest malls in the world. Hi, I'm Noah, and today I'm going to give you a tour of Chengdu and show you why, in fact, it is the best. City in China. I've mapped out a special route from my home in northeast Chengdu, all the way downtown to Chunqi Road. Just like Chengdu, this tour is gonna have a little bit of everything. So, butter up your popcorn and get ready. So our first stop is Jiansha Middle Road, and this is the place for local eating in Chengdu. It ain't pretty. But it's so damn good that I'm sure Anthony Bourdain's ghost wanders over here from time to time. Practically any time of day, you can find this place packed with lines everywhere you look, with locals foaming at the mouth for shao kao, various barbecue meat on sticks, hot pot, stinky tofu, and what I like to call Chinese burritos, as well as many, many more delicacies. Pig's brain. You know that kind of taste where even if you were blindfolded, you know that meat ain't chicken meat. That special organ kind of taste, like melts in your mouth in a bad way. Thanks, but no thanks. Okay, everyone. So I'm standing in front of this pork restaurant, and needless to say, I'm very excited. I have not eaten all day. This pork looks delicious. I'm gonna take a little taste here of the pork. Yeah, that's good. The first thing that comes to mind is crunch. The outside is really crunchy. It tastes like sesame, some spices. Yeah, that's yummy. So this filming center is killing my battery. But one of the convenient things about living in China is that wherever you are, walking around along the streets, you're at a restaurant, you're at the park, you can very conveniently rent. A mobile charging bank for very cheaply. I I just rented one for probably four or five hours, and it cost just over two U.S. bucks. Interesting fact number ninety-eight about walking on the streets in China is that it seems like every day there's water that pours on me that's not from rain. I just walked past this building that was leaking, and this is something that's commonly happened to me before. Is someone pissing on me? Is like what? What the heck is going on? The plumbing skills of China, at least in Chengdu, could be improved. Soon we're gonna be heading off to that tower in the distance, but first, it's off to Chenghua Park. Chengdu is famous for its parks. When you come to Chengdu, it's typical to visit a park or two. But Chenghua Park is not really for tourists. It's more of a local kind of park. For the whole family, or if you want to just get some exercise in, what I like about it is you go down these secret kind of corridors, and you lose yourself in the nature and forget that you were just in the city a moment ago. But my favorite part about it has to be what looks like a thrilling roller coaster. So we've taken what kind of looks like. A hidden exit from the park, which leads right to this beautiful pedestrian street with all kinds of nice restaurants and bars right next to the water. Everyone, we've made it to one of Chengdu's most famous landmarks, and that is 
Chengdu Radio and TV Tower, also known as the West Pearl Tower. And standing at a height of 339 meters, it's almost twice as tall as Seattle Space Needle, which is 184 meters tall. And it's the only place in Chengdu with an observation deck to view the entire city, complete with a revolving restaurant. Okay, everyone, we've made it to one of my favorite streets in Chengdu. This is Wangping Jie. And actually, my girlfriend and I enjoy it so much that we hope one day to buy an apartment up here. But the reason we like it so much is it's just very chill. It's not as crowded as Chunxi Road or Jinli or Quanjai Alley, but it's really nice. The restaurants here are really nice. The vibe is just is really chill. It also has a really good frozen yogurt shop. Here's another one of those cool alleys. If anything, it reminds me of Osaka. Just go down this a little crevice and lights, food everywhere. It was a long, strenuous journey, but we finally made it to Chunxi Road, the heart of downtown Chengdu. When you think about Chunxi Road, you think about two things. You think about hot food, and you think about hot boys and girls strutting their stuff. Everyone's welcome on Chunxi Road. Attractive people, people who like to watch attractive people, it's got something for everyone. And of course, when you think of Chunchi Road, you think of the giant panda on top of IFS Shopping Mall. He takes the meaning of giant panda to a whole new level. So one of my favorite things to do here on Chunchi Road is to meditate. It might sound like an odd thing to do in one of the most population dense commercial pedestrian streets in China, but I love to just come here just stand in the middle of crowds of people and just breathe. Breathe and open my heart and just feel connected to the people around me and just to feel grateful that I live in such a beautiful city. That's it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It really helps out my channel. And what you really should do, though, is subscribe because I'm putting out this kind of content every week, exploring one of China's hidden gems. All right, everyone, take care, and I'll see you for the next China adventure, all right? Bye-bye.